Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition, um, Sphere of Influence on the Mysterious JG. I don't think that the talk, or that the Uesugi have an incredible intelligence network where the instant I thought about trying to conspire with one of their officers, it triggered them to launch an attack. I guess it's possible, though. But in fact, the Uesugi are on the move. They're trying, uh, not for the first time, to take Kunamine Castle. It really bothers them that I have Kunamine Castle. And to be perfectly frank, if they took it, they would have driven me completely out of the Kanto Plain and would be in a much better position to fight the Hojo over it. But the Hojo and the Uesugi aren't really fighting each other too much, although it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have a battle here. And uh, Ujiteru Hojo has got a significantly larger uh, army that's marching with him than uh, Ujikuni Tojo has. I know this this can annoy as some people are probably annoyed by this other people enjoy it I want to see uh, I want to learn about these officers who are out right now Okay, so this is uh, Hojo Retainer, third son of Ujiyasu. He made peace with Uesugi. During Hideyoshi Toyotomi's conquest of Odawara, he lost his castle to Toshie Maeda and surrendered. Okay. And this is a Hojo Retainer, second son of Ujiyasu. He supported Ujimasa in military affairs and diplomacy. After the fall of Odawara Castle, Hideyoshi Toyotomi ordered him and his brother to commit suicide. And then they've got uh, the fourth son of Ujiyasu. He surrendered, and they've got uh, the guy who tried to defect but committed suicide. But yeah, all of the all of the Hojo guys they they tend to tell what happened to them after the fall of Odawara Castle because that's where they they collapsed. But that's who we've got marching uh, from our friends, the Hojo. Shigenori Suzuki. That guy's got an awesome portrait. I do. I. I'm sorry, I gotta look him up. That portrait's amazing. <laughs> oh, he's on the march somewhere. He's a Samurai Warriors character, I believe, yeah. You guys are marching? I wonder if we're gonna be fighting them. Yoshimine, she's got the same portrait as Masamune's mom, who's got it going on. Oh, she is Masamune's mom. Never mind, these are Date officers, not Uesugi. So I'm not sure who they're marching against, but... Come well, on, we saw him earlier. Never mind, I messed up somewhere here. Shigenori Suzuki. Shigenori Suzuki's unit. Pretty happy. He's a Sonata Retainer. Well, apparently not at the moment. He lost a battle against the Hojo Retainer, Kuninori Inomata, and committed suicide. This incident gave Hideyoshi Toyotomi an excuse for his conquest of Odawara. Oh, okay. Poor guy sounds like he was a bit of a pawn in history. So we do have the units deploying for battle.
All right, Yojiro. No, you're you're big into. Uh, you're a really progressive officer. He's always looking to get drag uh, drag queen story hour going. He wants to build castles that have like multicultural influences. He loves those corpcom presentations with like you know multicultural. You got men and women of all different ethnic backgrounds wearing business wear and, and smiling as they collaborate using new IT technology. But can you defeat Takahiro Kitocho? <laughs> Kitajo. That's the question now. Alright. I don't see any reason not to use Bond Breaker. I, f I always feel like it works best when there's multiple units, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to try it out. They've raised their defense, which is... This, by the way, I believe this is the guy we were we were going to conspire with, but we didn't really get time. Why are you... Oh, I didn't set you to attack. Yeah, so he's just moving towards that position rather than attacking. Okay, well, if you're going to do that, I will try to move out of the way. Yeah, because he's doing more damage to me than I am to him. This fight's really not going that well. Does seem to be a better war officer than I am. Though now the morale is going down, so it's... Same thing again, when they... We're, we're cavalry. With, with bows and arrows. When they fire muskets... When they, they set up position for muskets, we basically just move out of the way. <laughs> Might be time to go with charge. I think if we're cavalry and they're muskets, we should be uh, fighting up close, right? Attack. It leads to a lot of casualties, but it ends fights quickly. And I'm a little disappointed at how well we did there, but... Yojiro was not necessarily ever intended to be primarily a war character, but it looks like he just doesn't have... He didn't really have any particularly strong military officers in that city. I don't think we had planned around having to do a lot of fighting there. This is not going to go well for the Hojo, but... but well, they've even got tribals fighting against them, but I, I appreciate the fact that they've been pulled into the fight. Maybe this will get some, uh... some action going with the Hojo versus the Uesugi. Like, Rather than asking them to reinforce, when I get enough um, to ask them to attack, I might just ask them to attack Iwatsuki Castle and see what happens. Understood. We got Froxus coming in, and again. This is... Shingen's got some officers keeping an eye on her. In my, like, in my mind, yeah, there's officers here keeping an eye on things. She's got Yukitaki Sanada who, and Nobutsuna Sanada. So you got two Sanadas. Yukitaki being, like, I think the grandfather of um, Yukimura. Uh, he's a pretty smart and capable dude. Shingen places a lot of faith in the Takada, and I think having two members of the same clan supporting Proxus means that if things go wrong, it, my, my headcanon, if something happens, he's expecting them to deal with the situation. But it's also giving Froxus a chance to redeem herself um, within the clan. 
and she's and I think this is important in my head canon. She's not fighting the Yoda. She's fighting a different enemy. So it, it sh there shouldn't be a lot of temptation for things to go screwy. But he's he's kind of got some s safety if something does. I like it. Namioka clan was limited by the Nanbu clan. Allow us to help. Oh, this is turning into a big old fight with the with the Hojo. So I'm pleased about that. This this unit will not engage because uh, they are basically there to make sure they don't get attacked. Although I do intend to attack them eventually. So the Hojo fight well. We might not have to deal with these guys at all. It's just these guys coming in from the north. So we can have Froxus. Oh. She's got support too. I was hoping Kazuhiro could come in from behind. But that's not how it's going to work. Advance. Our night attack is a success. There we go. We keep getting this bonus. I'm not... 100% sure why. Understood. I think it's the nature of the train in this spot. But I guess they were coming in to support that other unit and they got pulled out. Yes. Or that unit that got wiped. They're coming in to support and for, I guess Froxus launched a sneak attack. She's got speed and defense. We'll use this just to get her into position soon, but I want to use ranged attacks rather than uh, yes. rather than uh, melee. Yes, keep doing diplomacy for crying out loud. Because I don't want her to lose any troops. I just want to like beat these guys up with minimal losses. She's starting to lose some now, but be very minimal. If she'd gone in and done melee, we still would have dominated, but we would have lost a lot more. The confusion has settled, but the tribals won't arrive in time to help. And that was a good fight for us. So let's tell them, so we could ask them to help us here. I think it would be more interesting if we asked the Hojo to attack the, uh, yeah, to actually attack the Uesugi. Because that may force these uh, Uesugi guys to back off. And if it doesn't, uh, if the Hojo AI sends a decent-sized force, they should take Uesugi Castle as a result of this, which would weaken the Uesugi. And uh, the Uesugi are our enemies. I thought about it, having them attack uh, Oshi Castle, but uh, I think the Hojo will actually... It would be better for the Hojo if they actually grab Uesugi Castle and just kind of have a more, more stable front line. I wonder if we can get down there and help the Hojo. That would be interesting. Get up, believe sickness has taken me. I have gained the Guardian trait by guarding Frox's Nilak. Your orders, here's last month's And balance. guarding against her possibly betraying us. Spent a lot of money that round. Reporting in. On these castle improvements. So as much as I'd like to do more, 
Probably need to relax on that stuff for a bit. So we got a couple of facilities to build, including Takato Castle. Population increases quickly. That was probably the point. Get a cargo and go in here. I think we will do the rest of our gold just with development. I guess we'll keep this going. We'll have future chances to fight him. Uh, but that's all the money spent. I don't really want to spend money on enticing villages right now. I did a little reading off screen about what uh, assimilate would do. It would basically, if I assimilated these tribes, in some cases, it basically, they would go away. I would get, I would spend gold. It would give me a big population boost uh, to some of my castles, and in, in, in some cases I would get an extra officer, in other cases I would not. But uh, whatever little bonus I'm getting from them being at 100% would go away. So I generally just keep these guys. I don't know who Nobukimi Anayama is. I don't know who uh, Nobushige Oyamata is. I feel like if the Hojo, who was a tribe... A Fuma tribe, rather, which I, I can never, ha I can't get them. They're 100% loyal to the Hojo. Um, I mean, I could get them if I was enemies of the Hojo and took Odawara Castle, but that's a that's a big to do anyway. Um, I feel like uh, like if you absorb them, you probably get Kotaro Fuma as an officer because I've never seen him pop up in game as just a regular officer. Might be wise to have Kazuhiro ambushing people, but when you control the battles manually, there's really not that much you get other than all your forces are aligned against theirs. Uh, when you let the auto battle, I think there might be some you get attacked from two sides and weaken them. It's kind of hard to tell, though. So I'm not seeing what the targets are for these forces. Oh, that's right, Shingen's coming around this way, and uh, Ryu Ryotoshi's coming around this way for some reason. I was kind of hoping that the uh, there's fighting going on between the Uesugi and guys over here, but I don't think there is. All right, back to it. To keep on this path, we'll end up fighting with the Nagano clan to avoid unnecessary fighting how about a detour. No. We're gonna be fighting them anyway. Let's take these guys out. Is it a surprise attack? I keep getting Okay, I keep getting surprise attacks here for whatever reason. Not this time. And this is Shigei Shibata. I don't know if they're related to uh, uh, Katsuie Shibata or not. So we're going to raise our defense, lower their defense, and shoot arrows at them for a while. And they already had lower stats than us, so this should be fine. Now that they're going for release. It's tempting to just stay in the path because uh, we've got better stats than them. But again, they're shooting muskets. We're not using muskets. We should use our maneuverability to get out of the way. So Froxus is uh, fairly handily dispatching 
through surprise attacks and just generally decent tactics. She is redeeming herself in these battles against the Uesugi. Oh, whatever. I'm not even getting out of the way. Oh no, they got confused. Like, oh shit! We're shocked that they charged us because they have so few guys! That was a bit of a charge of the Light Brigade situation there. But her unit will remain confused, is the problem. So they're not going to move for a while. Because they are in a state of confusion. This is an enemy unit we don't have to deal with, but... If we, if we fight them, we can come down here and help the Hojo. And the Hojo are sending troops on the march, but they're sending them to fight against the Uesugi up there. They are not doing, as I suggest, in attacking Iwatsuki Castle. So we're going to go ahead and attack the, uh, the Nagano right now, even if I'm not going to attack their castle uh, at this time. And if Kaizu Castle gets attacked, we're kind of in a bad spot. But I did keep some troops there. It's got 7,000 hit points, so they're not going to attack it without force. And they've pretty much, in order to have any chance of winning down here, they, they did send their force here. So I think we'll be fine. We march. Well, we're helping the Hojo. Let's do that fight real quick. The Takata and the Hojo. Good friends forever. Let's go. Do I control these guys? Yes, I do. Okay. You've got very little left. I probably just want to leave you alone in the hopes that they're smart enough to retreat you rather than let you get wiped out. Understood. Attack. They're going for concentrate. I think we just let this that's part of the fight end. Pull back. Pull back. And now we go to finish off the main Uesugi unit. And I'm gonna do the honorable thing and, and let the Hojo rest. Understood. Although now that they're right here, we'll fight them. All right, going for the sharpshooter. And go for staggered firing. guys get out of here I'm trying to actually spare my allies I don't want to actually just be greedy and use their troops to take all the losses I think in this battle uh, if they if they units get weakened they retreat I, I reduce the risk that the Uesugi capture Hojo officers which would be bad these are some worthwhile adversaries I reckon Akazu Hiro definitely made a positive difference for the Hojo in, by coming to their relief here. 
It's going to take these guys a while to turn around and actually fight. And then once they do... Yeah, I think we can keep out of the melee here pretty well. And I don't know how many Hojo are left to fight, or if uh, Usuki are left to fight. I don't think we wiped out everybody that was uh, sort of south on the the Hojo far to the battlefield, or the, the broader battlefield, but uh, I think overall that went good. Because there's, uh, yeah, this is kind of key. There's more... There's more guys coming, although they were mine, not uh, Hojo. I think the Hojo would have lost that fight without us. But that's it for the Uesugi coming up from this direction. Excuse me. These fights appear to have nothing to do with it. The Uesugi have a unit out just in case the Satake get cute. But uh, we've definitely drained uh, these... Yeah, come on, guys. Is this it? Is this it? Please tell me these guys are going to go attack Uesugi Castle. And whether Uesugi would, would uh, pay for their uh, arrogance in attacking us by losing uh, a castle to our allies, the Hojo. I'd be all about that. In fact, we may be able to push... Because uh, that's... Most of the forces that were coming have been dealt with. We've got... These guys are probably not going to get involved couple more uh, units up here to deal with. I don't know that we can take Manoa Castle, but I think we could grab Una, Umabayashi Castle. The thing is, I gotta keep an eye on food. Because food is not an infinite resource here. And we're not fighting outside of our own castle either. We've taken these fights to the field. Moving out. I'm moving out. I want the world to know. Acknowledged. Yes, my leash. I think Froxus is just going to sit here and, and wait. Let's go. There we are. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Understood. Okay, they've got melee attack. It's a good, good uh, up close. But we're gonna we're gonna try for ranged initially, even though we got good uh, melee officer. And then this is, uh, yeah, this is just a, a tribal unit, so really not worth worrying about them too much. If they get involved, we'll uh, have our tribals distract them. Follow my, follow my, follow my lead. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. Follow my. 50, 60. 50, 60. I'm not. Speed's not really going to be the thing here, but I like the idea of raising her defense. Well, their defense is... They've got their defense up and defense down. They've got counteracting buff, debuff. 
This our resolve. And they managed to get themselves out of position. I thought they were going to kind of win that fight, actually, because they uh, they snuck up on our tribe allies. But uh, they kind of turned themselves towards the main fight. How humiliating. Oh, our guys got wiped out, too. Well, that's too bad. First two birds. Maybe we should have lo lowered their movement. But yeah, another another good fight for us. We only had one created officer in that mix. It was actually some fairly good actual historical Takeda officers instead of just relying on uh, the easy mode that is created officers there. We want to be. We don't want to go overboard with Kazuhiro. At some point, we're going to want to pull his unit back, especially now that we got uh, a whole lot of reinforcements coming up. But we've also got Shingen coming in to take care of things personally. <laughs> Everyone, follow me. Honestly, Shingen. It might be. Yeah, maybe with Shingen, we don't take Umabayashi Castle first. Maybe with Shingen here, we're just like, you know what? Nagano. You guys, um... Uh, you guys are never gonna last with all these, like, superpowers. Between the Hojo, the Uesugi, and the Mighty Takeda, you guys weren't gonna last anyway, but, uh... You picked the wrong side to be quasi-aligned with. And now you gotta die. And by die, I mean uh, get defeated in battle and be absorbed into our clan. Because I almost never execute officers. Uh, when we come back next time, guys, uh, my plan for a couple of videos of Peaceful Domestics have been derailed by the Uesugi. But it's not really going to do them any good. We'll see you next time.